every time I watch pair skating or ice dance during the Olympics, I'm like crying my eyes out, just sobbing with tears streaming down my eyes. Like there's no way these two people aren't in love. <laughs> cough, test of virtue, Scott Moyer, cough. Skating with another person is so beautiful yet so awfully scary. I'm sure some people out there on YouTube have made some sort of scary figure skating fall compilation videos. And the scariest falls in figure skating probably are with two people instead of one. For some reason this year, I decided to toy with my own life and give pair figure skating a try because why not? You only live once. Hello, friends of the internet. Welcome to the video where I put my life in the hands of some dude I met like two months ago. My name is Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I am a competitive adult figure skater, and I've been skating for the past couple of years. And truly, the model of this channel is that you're never too old to try new things, even if it's this. Okay, maybe this type of shit really does require just a tad bit of insanity. There's two main disciplines in competitive figure skating that requires two people instead of one, and that is pairs figure skating and ice dance. Both very different and challenging in their own respects. Today, I'm going to dabble in a little bit of both. The pair skating requires unique elements to that discipline, such as the throw, which is probably something you've seen on TV before, where the guy takes the girl and just chucks her across the ice and she lands on one foot. And yes, I will be attempting a variation of that sometime down the line in this video. There are things such as the death spiral, which is this, and it's very adequately named. Side-by-side -side jumps and spins, which are very similar to single skating, actually. And of course, lifts over the head and much more. Ice dance, though you're not chucking someone across the ice, is super difficult because of how close the two skaters have to skate together. And that only means one thing, the potential for the blade click of death. Ice dance requires a whole nother level of of precision, skating skills, edge quality, and of course, Oscar winning level acting skills to convince the whole world of your forbidden love. Unique elements to ice dance include twizzle sequences, which look like death, lifts, but unlike pairs figure skating, woman's body cannot be lifted completely over the man's head, and various dance pattern and synchronized step sequences. Since I started skating from scratch a couple of years ago, I've been kind of just focused on a single solos career. So that basically means I'm a loner and I skate by myself. However, a couple months ago, Faith decided to drop someone in my life. So I met someone and became friends with another male skater that actually has a really similar trajectory to my skating journey. And that is something that is really hard to find and unheard of because one, male skaters in general, hard to find. Even really competitive fields, they're like non-existent, few to none. Especially within the field of adult figure skating and people who started later on in life like me. The story is he moved to New York City very short term and will be yeeting himself off to Asia in a couple months. So we only really have three months to train together. This video is really going to be how much progress we can make as a team in the next three months. Because time is truly a ticking bomb here. We yeah, picked pairs first, even though arguably it looks a little scarier. Pairs is actually a little bit more similar, oddly, to singles skating because you have the jumps, you have the spins. Ice dance is kind of like a whole new monster. So with that, why don't we dive head first, hopefully not literally, to our very first lesson with a pairs coach. Yeah. 
rundown the honest review of how our first lesson went just my initial thoughts what i learned what was it like was it weird do it anytime dating and coordinating with another human being is way harder than i've ever imagined it to be that just makes me appreciate and respect so much more all these pair figure skating teams the immense amount of trust communication coordination you really have to communicate on when you're gonna start something and when you're gonna end something I really had to learn how to count you have to figure out what the differences are between you and your partner does he skate faster or slower than me what are his isms what are my isms those are all things you kind of start learning about each other my partner is actually significantly taller than me pretty sure he told me he was like 6'2 or 6'3 or something and you're talking to someone who is like five I don't know like five four it's almost like a whole foot taller than me it actually makes certain things like a little tricky when attempting our pair spin I almost sometimes feel bad because I feel like he's like crouching down to reach to catch me the second thing I really learned is not freaking out about skating close together blade click of death is like the scariest thing of all time it really takes some time to get used to skating with someone in proximity and feeling like you guys aren't going to die and it will be okay you would think that skating might actually feel a little bit more comfortable because you literally have someone holding on to you or have someone to hold on to but it actually like doesn't really work that way it's, it's actually quite scary last thing i learned from my first lesson is really understanding the force and the tension that is created by two people as a figure skater you do kind of <laughs> understand some basic six of physics in play when you skate with another person the tension you create is by holding on to each other so that tension and release is actually quite different and it feels really weird and really different so with that said the shit is harder than i ever imagined it to be but it is also a really fun challenge i was glad that i found someone who also has like great sportsmanship you know we'll see where this takes us and how much progress we can make so the next big category of pairs moves that we learned was lifts, or arguably one of the scariest things. So what is recommended is when you're trying out learning lifts, you typically do it off ice first. So we had our pairs coach work with us on a land first, so that is called off ice training. And just for chronological purposes, our journey was seven weeks long. We did actually learn lifts the very last week, so in week seven. This is low-key insane on behalf of both of us, but our last week of skating together, we learned had an off ice lesson on Tuesday and then we went to Central Park and tried everything out on Wednesday on the ice. All of you guys are in for some good entertainment for the next couple of minutes. This is an easy one that people do just for the turning of rotation of lifts. So it's not like really because it's pretty hard. Well, I guess it could be okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go around and you're going to put your arms in your head on here and you're going to jump up and you're going to do a split like this. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to hold you here and then I work on doing your body weight over so what you did there is you went this oh, way to like you're like this like you're laying yeah so way back i mean see your yeah there now keep the legs like this one flip more now there it is you feel you are yeah yeah now you're gonna go here bring the arms around get to the bone like this and you're gonna kind of squeeze and tighten your body and like you lay it on your chest so keep arching here you feel like you want to feel Shift your weight over to the right leg here, and now you can start to rotate her because you can't step if she's blocking you. Rotate her, open up the door. Stretch your legs. The bigger split one. So I transfer the weight and go here. Step, 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's see the fish in the thing. So the, 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 what is it, that? This is the, you're going to do this sort of arabesque this way, okay? So the arm is going to go around my back here, and you're going to straighten the leg. Straighten the leg. Straight. Yeah, now lay back on me this way. So that's simple like this. And you can do your full work, top of the ball, or you can spin in one place, laying over top of the neck. Okay, and then do I let go of this one? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like like you're looking like you're loading your life like this. The more you can like stretch that leg, the okay, better. Keep it extended and stretch. Yeah, like look up like so you okay when that position should come up like you're a little you know impaled like this. Like, you, and stretch longer, keep reaching, don't bend that left leg, that's what you tend to do. Yeah. So I would like like uh, like you're looking up to your arm like that. If you're going to do your loop position, right? You're going to grab her hips like this, and as you go, you're going to lift this left leg up here. That's going to keep your body lifted over him. So watch this. This is what I can see when I'm doing the breaking here. You feel like you're sitting up on him like this. It's like keep lifting that left leg. That's it. Now look at when I do it. So you see on my head, I kind of turn, but she's like on me. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you kind of have to get a little closer to comfort sure, yeah, as yeah. a care team, okay. dance team, whatever. Yeah. Because the more she's away from you, the easier it gets. You know. uh, one, two, three. Ah, yeah, yes, you kick back. So more of this part of you pushing back against them now. Yes, for a of time. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> one, two, three. It's better. That's it. Now keep your head. Don't look too like. I would probably be more like there. Yeah, you're looking up. Okay. So just a cradle, like a basket, you know, the world of like romantic carrying up the stairs and you're through the knees up like this. <laughs> so here, here, give me your left leg, give me your left, uh, left leg. So you're going to go here now and I'm going to pick up now, cross your legs. So this is just like a little pocket, bend your knees. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you'll be like here, so that gives you a good grip. Yeah. So like this, you don't have to lift me, but let's pretend you can okay. So you're going to get like this and then she's going to go and she'll bring this leg up. Oh, you can, oh, I guess we, yeah, let's do that, yeah. yeah. That's going to be teach his own because keeping it straight can be really pretty, but now it gets even harder. Right, so. Yes. Roll up. Let's try it. Do you know what a roll up is? They call it the Jesus? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We're going to do a flip and a roll like this. It's very, very easy. Play here. Yeah. I'm going to throw it over my right shoulder here. So you're going to go kick, <laughs> kick. Wait, okay. Like, and I throw this here, okay. and you're gonna hinge over my shoulder. Like, you're gonna do it like a backflip. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, you keep going, though. Don't try and let it stop. That just goes. Inside. Yeah. So where do I just, hold? You just look, just hold my shoulder, but don't hold, like let it roll. Like this. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay. And oh, let go. Let go. So yeah, you gotta let go of that. So let the other arm go. Oh, Okay. There you go. So this is why it looks the Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> you get that idea. So it's very simple, actually. Now it's landing. Left leg up, left leg up. To land up like your best like that. Actually, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Swing her around. Yeah, so she's on this. You want to go there. Now release those arms here so you can get under the arm. Keep yeah. trying to squeeze your butt underneath you. Me or? Yeah, you. Okay. I'm sure both, yeah. I think it was underneath. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God. okay, so bring her down. You can just swing around like this. It just revolves in that left leg pull it down.
Yeah. You know, I think you're both doing it right. You just have to work on getting more into the circle. Well, that's scary. And you guys are probably at least subconsciously tripping each other and falling out. You're pretty close. Not such a bad thought. You're both so young and you're fine. You step up. Moreover, this love you'll be your name Release all of your burdens It's been me who'll be searching Take a load off and your clothes off Just relax, you deserve it Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight Only you and me Pour your honey sickly sweet Keeps me coming, got me weak You could kill me, I'd still be Darling, you're number six feet deep Oh, it's real hard to break this habit It's like I want you 24-7 When I'm without you, boy, I feel safe Think you look better than my prescriptions Nothing feels as good as you Even the 
dark, they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have fell from the sky And I feel so lucky I met you It's not magical The way I feel when you walk in the room When you walk in the room It's not optional How gravity just pulls me right to you To you Even the dark, they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you with you, I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have fell from the sky And I feel um, so lucky I met you I spent my whole life waiting for someone like you, baby And all these broken roses led to you So lucky I met you and I still mm, Can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have fell from the sky and I feel mm, So lucky I met you
end of the journey. I wanna give a shout out to my partner, who shall not be named, for being such an incredible partner in crime in this madness and just having such good sportsmanship and being down to, you know, try all these crazy things. At our last practice in Central Park last week, which was pretty bittersweet, I included some clips of it, but if you guys are curious and interested, I might actually make another practice vlog video for all my pair sessions. I know at the beginning I said I was going to try ice dance, which we did try ice dance, but again, this video was just getting way too long. If you still want to see my ice dance experience, let me know. I will make a separate video for it. This was such a fun and challenging experience that I've never ever imagined trying to do, especially in my mid-20s learning this from scratch. Maybe our paths will cross again and I will pick up Paris figure skating again. Like always, if you like content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel a lot. It helps me create more content like this. Leave a comment down below on what new videos you would like to see next. Your next suggestion may be the next video that I make. It's never too late to try something new, even if that is as insane as Paris figure skating. I swear to God, it is a lot of fun. You should try it. If you're a skater out there, it is a little scary. Find yourself a partner. Give it a go because, you know, we only live once, truly. This might actually be one of my last videos of 2023, which is also crazy to think about that the year is ending. Happy holidays to all. Here's to more new adventures in 2024. I'll see you guys next year. That joke is so overused, but I still love making it every year. Boy, your honey sickly sweet keeps me coming, got me.